Okay. Nice and central. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, so what I'm doing here is uh, on the sides of here there's going to be nozzles, but they're going to have quite some weight on them, pulling them either way. So um, I want like a plate out of here that's going to support everything and that I can put all my mechanical control system to and everything. Um, so that plate is going to be 10 mil thick. So I'm just spacing everything out with these spacers for now. These are both 10 mil and clamp it all together and then I can make this part later. But everything will be fixed in the right place. I'll just put this housing on top of there. just rough fit at the minute so we can get everything lined up. Okay, there she is. Packed up like we just discussed under there so I can fit my plate. It's going to stiffen all this up really nice and give me a nice strong fixing point to attach to. There's the shaft coming in underneath and uh, everything will attach to that. So good progress we're making here. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just marking up where these nozzles are going to fix. So these um, faces here, 20 degree faces, this is going to fix the angle of our jet facing towards the turbine. But what we can change is how far into the turbine the jet is pointing by changing this height. And we've established we'll have to take less off the boss, the adapter, you know, my version of that thing. Um, if we move this jet slightly towards the base a little bit, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just laying out centers and then marking up from here, getting this as a reference, and then marking up 35 mil because that is about the amount I want. So going from there, there, 35 mil, and then that. Well, that's 45 mil. It's fiddly. Thirty-five mil. Little mark goes there. And that's our point that we're going to cut out with the uh, punch and then nozzle will go through there. Okay. Yeah. Use one of these contraptions again. What, what are they called? Q-Max cutter. Q-Max cutter. Very nice little thing for cutting this plastic. That's probably sheet metal too. Sheet right? metal the grey, yeah. 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 Hold it a bit tight. Much nicer hole than like a hole saw. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Mount this gizmo, <laughs> gizmo. the old gizmo. <laughs> They're going to clamp that, and we use this uh, spike on the end of here to get a very accurate measurement and direct that jet where we want it. So it all needs to be on and tighten, just really. Yeah. through there and tell us where yeah. we're going to be hitting. So you currently... Yeah, we're clear, you see, yeah. If you have a look, currently that jet is missing the cups, really. It's sliding past them. See that? So that means that this turbine needs to come down. Um, so what we need to do is machine this now to bring it down a little bit so that that jet hits in, the, in, in these cups as opposed to clearing past them. 
Okay, so we've come to a decision. So if you have a look, I believe you can see that that point at that centre of that jet is just missing that centre cup at the moment by about it's about three mil, two and a half, three mil. And we need to come down on the spigot about three mil. So when we've taken the spigot material out, that turbine is going to be sitting. So the jet is hitting the top of the first of the centre uh, spoon. And we've calculated we want it 11 mil down. So we've got 11 mil to come off. So we're going to take five mil off the face of the uh, boss, the adapter. Five mil off the face of it first, and then three mil off the spigot, and then we'll make fine adjustments once we've done that. And then we'll be very close to getting a what was it, John? Eleven point eight. Eleven point eight mil down into that spoon. So this is a. Uh, this is how we've come up with that measurement. Um, so there's an equation um, that tells you. Um, that it's your um, jet size, so the size, the diameter of the jet, times by 1.2, 1.2 um, for the head that I have. Is that that's right, isn't it? Yeah. So for we've got one of the nozzles is 2.5 liters, one of them is 1.3, and one of them is 0.65 liters second, and we've times them by 1.2, which is the in the equation that's for the 18 meters of head, um, and then we've taken them as averages and then we've worked out that 11.8 will give us a fairly good average for height down the spoon for per jet size hope that makes sense um, so we're going with 11.8 mil down from the top of the spoon into the spoon um, which is the equation that we've um, working with seems to be quite accurate and quite good so we're gonna go with that So John's just machined that spigot into this piece that I made, the boss or adapter as I've been calling it. Um, so we're going to do a test fit now and see where our jet is lining up with the turbine. There it is. Nice fit. Put that on there. I suppose we could clamp it down at this point, couldn't we, and get a proper measurement yet? Let me just see quickly, roughly, what we're at. So we're into the spoon now. Uh, we're into the spoon by a few mil now. So we'll clamp it down and see what it's all looking like once it's clamped. Okay, so we just machined off a little bit more off of it, and our uh, our lining uppy tool here is hitting the spoon where we want it to. So we're good, and we've got some material here, so I think I'm going to thread um, this leftover material here as a jacking bolt to pull this off in the future. Um, so now that, as you can see, is protruding past the spigot, so our top piece goes on there, and then that clamps it all down tight. 12mm bolt through the middle to hold it all from sliding off. Do the uh, um, Allen key cap heads into the keyway, and that is all locked into position, as you can see. Very nice tight fit. This it's hard to actually get off. Let's see if I can wiggle her off. There it goes. And you can see that that piece is so close. There's only literally just it's not rubbing, but that is that um, little protrusion, that little um, cap headed, that little domed plastic ridge there is sitting in that machined groove, and it's not touching, but it's just a tiny little gap. Where um, where water is going to have a very hard time getting up and over it. Right, let's get these. I just shorten these bolts down a little bit because they're a little bit too long. Just get this screwed on. Bolted down rather. Just nipped up. Just you know, just for experimenting purposes. We're happy with our height now. Um. You know, talking to John, there's a lot of conflicting information about what that best height is. So, uh, like I say, we just took an average, and, and John's hoping to do some tests at some point to uh, determine all of that. But it's no big drama to change that height if I wanted to. Um, <clears throat> just 
re-drill a case in and move move these slightly higher up so no big deal but that is we're not rubbing so great that's looking really nice these still need all talking up um, I haven't quite got those talked up yet but yeah looking good proper professional turbine there you go so John has very kindly given me one of these uh, spear valve adjustable spear valve nozzles that he's manufactured here in his workshop and designed and he's been uh, testing it with a university as well so this is a you know it's being properly tested but it hasn't had any field testing really so he's kindly giving me one to uh, test in the field in real worth real life uh, situations so you see it's adjustable spear valve um, water coming in through here adjustment here um, so yeah we're gonna fit one of these to the turbine and see how it works so do that now uh, like that and then one of them there So me and John were just talking. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna make like a plate on here to help stiffen this up a bit, and also I'll be able to lose this lock nut then, and we won't, uh, yeah, it'll be just a few mil plate, and then we won't lose all this space because it would be preferable to have the jet closer to the turgo. So I'll get gain a bit of space by making a little plate on there. up spear valve lining up should be hitting on the spoons in the right place put quite a lot of thought into it so we're gonna get these other three fixed nozzles worked out and get them in there right so there's uh, there's the basis for our, um, our fixed nozzles there's the spear valve fixed nozzles uh, John's gonna machine them we've come up with what sizes we're gonna have and John is gonna machine them and uh, let me grab one for you so yeah they start off as these and then John machines uh, drills them out and machines the angles into them and then these are obviously changeable you can just pop them in and change them out and change them in situ preferably try and adjust it so these are changeable from underneath by hand um, so yeah, he's going to machine these and send them to me in the post and then I can uh, can put it all together. I've got loads of other things to do with it yet, you know, putting in this uh, packing plate under here, uh, automating, all kinds of different stuff. So lots to do, but John's going to get these done and machined and, and sent off to me. Okay, so um, what we've got here is a, is a glass fibre reinforced, nylon reinforced uh, plastic um, housing and it's quite strong and it's very good for its purpose but I'm adding quite a significant weight to uh, to this housing really just spinning around with this nozzle I can actually flex it up and down now I'm going to be putting this big plate out here which is going this is all going to attach to but I'm also going to make some stainless steel plates to go turn it around again stainless steel plates to go on here um, to stiffen all this up as well. Um, I've got the material so why not? I've got this piece of stainless steel plate it's got some sort of a bronze coating on it or something but this is a stainless steel plate so I'm gonna cut this and uh, this is actually a sample material um, so uh, we're gonna cut it and make these bases out of it. Okay there's a plate, stainless steel plate should fit in here nicely, not that way up, but that way up, that's it. 
does fit nice. So now we we'll poke a nozzle through there and clamp it together. Now the reason, one of the main reasons for doing this is because this adjustable nozzle here, this spear valve that's custom made by John, it needs this lock nut here to, so the other lock nut can go up against it so this doesn't just sink into the plastic. But uh, it would be preferable for this to be much closer to the turbine. So I'm going to take lose this lock nut and have this butted up against that stainless steel plate which would be much stronger. Okay, so there's our plate we just made, saving us that extra 5mm, helping to stiffen this up a bit. It's still going to flex until we get that plate on top, but it all helps, you know, gives it something nice and strong to lean up against. So we'll just get this lined up. I don't know exactly where I want this, I don't know where the hose is coming in just yet. We get it close and just nip it all up. We're just sort of assembling it roughly at the minute. A bit of tighten down, not much, just a nip. Now, see if it lines up well, and it does. There we go. There's two. Right then, exciting. Just had some shinies turn up. Nice stainless steel two inch fittings. Thinking I might have got a little bit over the top with all this. And could have gone smaller because this is a fairly low flow turbine but I just don't want to lose efficiencies on it. Uh, one of the reasons because it's low flow I want it to be as efficient as possible so I've gone gone big with the pipe fittings. Um, they're actually quite reasonably priced considering what they are and they've got stainless steel shut off valves as well. This is all going to last very very long time. You know I want to build this turbine I want it to be really quite an impressive thing. Um, kind of a demonstration I'm thinking maybe in the future I might actually build these uh, for work um, if there's demand so um, you know I'm sort of gonna make this as an example of, of uh, what can be done with such a tiny little small stream and what sort of efficiencies you can get so you know I'm spending good money on this and making a proper proper turbine here so uh, we're gonna get these wrapped up in PTFE and start assembling them you might notice I also put bolts on these here this is going to strengthen this all up and i ordered these butterfly valves with the uh, iso mount i think it's called i don't know what that means really but it's uh it's got these uh, uh uh bolt this bolt pattern here so when i put yeah, this big stainless steel plate out here i'm going to have something to attach all this to and it will take the weight off of uh, off these fittings here because all this is going to have some weight to it all right let's assemble it i'll probably put you on uh time lapse well uh, one other thing just before we start um so i have to reduce down because these are one inch and i wanted to run two inch hose for um like i say loss reasons so i don't lose too much in friction now i was hoping they'd have a bit more of a um chamfer in here because obviously water hitting a dead wall like that and then having to turn the corner and go round that's a that's a loss point there which we don't want so i'm probably going to machine and press in some um some like chamfers some some tapers that sit in there some like inserts that direct that water up there um i don't know whether they'll be brass or stainless but they'll be something pressed in them but i'm gonna do it at a later date um because i you know i have to borrow a friend's lathe to do that but i think that's what we do with them because we don't want that at all right put you on time lapse and we'll uh get this put together Okay, and there's one of the um, hose fittings and shut off valves connected. So you can see it's quite a lump, it's got movement in it. It's, you know, it's not bad or anything, but that's why we need this plate coming in here. Real strong, attaching all that, making it all nice and sturdy. We still might need nipping up a bit. Take this bit of tape off here. Um, because haven't done the mega tight, I might still have to take this stuff off, but 
yeah that is how they're gonna look so we got to uh we're gonna be having a like say stainless steel plate comes out of here this angle probably joins in to there like that weld it maybe haven't decided yet and then we're gonna have it with um linear actuators coming off of that plate pulling these round so i'll be able to open these remotely I need to cut these off because these are no good we don't want them so there'll be a linear linear actuator here for example like there and it will push that shut and go oh i need a bit more flow open that all remotely so that's the plan i'm gonna get the rest of them screwed on hey everyone check it out i just had a delivery from my friend john and it is the three fixed size nozzles for um for so we got the adjustable nozzle and then three fixed nozzles uh these are machined out of uh, plumbing fittings as you can see um they're machined with the correct angles inside now john has done a lot of experimentation over the years and found that these to be the best angles uh, to get the best uh, jet you know jet profile to keep it nice and uniform and uh, for efficiencies as well so uh, we've got the smallest one there i think that's uh, 0.65 liter a second so very small that's going to be just really lowest flow ever, that i ever really get let's so stay on all year uh, that one's 1.2 liters a second and i think that one's 2.5 i'll have to check but it's, yeah i believe it's 2.5 so we're going to get these uh installed now with the uh, ptfe and everything and uh, put the turbine on and then that will be the uh, turbine is in, uh, basically assembled but we still got loads of work to do but uh, for now it will be assembled so let's uh, get these fitted okay so that's them ptfe on um, they don't need to be able to hold a lot of pressure because when there's water there they'll be open because the shaft valve is there so it's just to stop a little bit from back feeding out I suppose uh, but that should be good so slide our uh, turbine back on and just check that sorry about the wobbling just check that the uh, that we've got clearance and we have yeah clearance all around Okay, so that is the turbine assembled. So in the uh, next video, uh, we shall be installing a stainless steel metal plate across the top of here to stiffen all this up and then making all the bracketry to hold all these tight and in place. Um, and then we're gonna be automating it <coughs> with some uh, um, linear actuators that are gonna actuate these valves so I can have control over it without having to walk all the way down to the bottom of the uh, stream to control it so yeah so that's going to be the end of this video that's the turbine assembled so we've got a bit of a zoom out there and uh in the next video we'll uh we'll carry on get automated and bracketed up quite the object okay so hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching